Come on out there in YouTube land. I haven't made a video in a few days, but I've been dropping them because I made a whole bunch of them at uh, Jeff's house. I guess you saw those. Made a bunch of them. Um, I don't know. I made a bunch of them. Anyhow, I went down to visit a place called Kinder or Kinder Farms, and I've got a couple sawmill videos down there, so we'll put put that on one of those on with this tonight and just um i didn't know the order and how they were doing things and different stuff like that so you, you probably want to zoom through some of those i can't add that to the uh to the video but there's there's three of them and uh so you know when you see something you don't like i don't know how to edit it out so just zoom through it and get you know get past it because when i thought they were doing one thing they weren't doing it and back and forth anyhow this is a number one mill update and I've been working on shims, shimming these wheels so they run a little bit more. Um, as they go up and down the track, there's some of them that were missing, not not turning, and I didn't like that. So I've been playing with shims, millions of shims. I made a bunch of shims this morning like this uh, to put in there. I made these these this morning. I thought I was going to use more than I did, but I didn't. I got a bunch of stuff here on the ground. And then I ended up, sometimes I needed more than that. And then these are all different thicknesses here. Just, I save everything and it's just something I saved from the past. Anyhow, so I got the front wheels, the front wheels, the uh, guide wheels. They're, they're pretty decent right now. They're running, I'm not ecstatic about it. I'm... I'm okay with it at this point and it and now it, it, it's I think it'll saw a little bit better um, so that's where I'm at with that but I still got a problem now that all these okay you can call them knees call them L's call them whatever you want there's eight of them on here all have to come off and the reason that they have to come off is because you can pull forward okay like this okay but you can't recede I can't pull this back just I mean it's it's everything I can do to pull pull it back I mean it is tight and I don't really know the reason for that but that's without all these L's moving see normally when when you when you pull this if you watch me on the other mill you turn that and then these come forward okay I have them off the end of the bed here off the end of the bed so there there's a um, rack and pinion under there you can't I guess you can't see it here when I take one of them off or some of the old movies I think I showed the rack and pinion well each one of these little these little doohiggies I'm I'm guessing they're probably around 100 pounds I can't lift them up and two people it's a string just to have two people lift them up so I got to take a I got to crane them off they, so every one of them's got to be craned off, so they all have to become all, come off. Then down here, there's a coupler that's got to be sp split and taken apart. And then then I gotta I just got to figure out where the problem is. So all these all these have to come off, and I might leave the front four on, but the back four definitely have to come off. Um, and start trying to figure out how come. This thing's so daggone tight. I'm gonna have to make some kind of a jig up to measure that back shaft or something. I, I just don't don't know exactly what I'm doing, but I got to do it because uh, you guys seem to want the sawmill. But then, then I got all this crap wood in you know in the way. Um, now that uh, so I got to move that some. Well, I'll probably leave that there. I got to take take the uh, beam out there. Um, get this firewood, put it some other place, don't have a place to put it. Because these, when they come out, <clears throat> they got to come out all the way from there, all the way straight out, and then they come loose. And the way I put them on is I put a um, uh, turnbuckle on there. But these down here... I can't do that with because I've already put the taper attachment on. So I don't really want to take the taper attachments off. So I got to come up with some kind of a jig to get these off with and then pull them off. So 
I got to get uh, the crane truck down here, but the crane truck has got uh, a load of wood on it. So it's just kind of, you ever play Rubik's Cube or si si uh, not your Rubik's Cube, um, Free Cell. That's kind of what playing with a sawmill is. It's kind of like free cell. Well, to do this, you got to do this, to do this, to do this, but to do this, you got to do that. So you got to move this over here and move that over here and just various things. So, um, and, and there's also, oh, I forgot to tell you, there's two log turners tucked under here too. Um, anyhow, so there's, there's always, you can't just go work on it. You got to do uh, hours of work just to get to where you can work on it. So that's that's what tomorrow's plan is going to be. Working on this one, ton just I got wood everywhere. I, I've I've been burning it up lately. I just get tired of dealing with it. I just burning it up. This is all. You can look at this. This is uh. Will you focus in on this? This is a quarter salt oak. And I'll probably just burn it up. Nobody wants it. So uh, I'll probably keep another couple pieces for here because this is dried up now to where. Um, I got it all flat and see some of these are pretty wide you know that's a half inch and uh, some of them might be even wider than that which I knew that was going to happen because I was, I was putting it up green but I put it up with just single screws in there so I can just undo the screws and slide it over and then re-screw the same screws back in and then just like this one here is like a five inch board just put a six or seven inch board in there and that's kind of why I'm still saving these down here but I'm just getting crazy. It's crazy. So much stuff to do. Anyhow, that's that's where I'm at. I've already chewed up too much of your time. Um, but that, that's what I got to do. So tomorrow I'm going to unload the crane truck, come down here, get this stuff so I can get in here, and I'll do a video of uh, taking those L's or knees or the bed is the part that it sits on so L's or knees whatever you call them different areas call them different amounts anyway over and out we'll see you later bye